If you're gonna make a claim, you better have the evidence. If you don't have the evidence, just don't say anything. Hi, I'm Lake, the Motor Oil Geek, and another AI-generated motor oil video has gone viral claiming that 5W30 provides better protection than 0W20. And while it seems logical that a thicker oil would provide better protection than a thinner oil, let's fact check three claims to see if this is content you can trust. Since they referenced me in this video, I'd say that's an open invitation for critique. Plus, this is the same channel that came up with the fake 50 engine test. So let's check out those three key claims. So claim number one, the viscosity grade recommended in the US is different than in other countries for the exact same engine. And the reason behind this is corporate average fuel economy requirements here in the US. This is true. We've actually covered this in two previous videos. We talked about it in the 0 W8 video on my daughter's Toyota Corolla. We also discussed it in the GM L87 recall. When GM switched from 0 W20 to 0 W40, we showed those same engines called for 5 W30 in other countries as opposed to the 0 W20 here in the US. And that is specifically because of corporate average fuel economy requirements, CAFE they call it. That lower viscosity oil provides better fuel economy while modern engines are built to be able to take advantage of the fuel economy savings that can come from using lower viscosity oils. This shows that it's okay to use a higher viscosity grade oil in your engine because OEs are already calling for a higher viscosity grade for that same engine outside the US. But that doesn't mean that the thinner oil is necessarily the problem. Claim number two, zero W20 oils shear down and lose viscosity faster than a five W30. Let's see what over 10,000 used oil samples has to say about that claim. And what we see are that 5W30 oils are twice as likely to shear out of grade than 0W20 oils. Over 40% compared to only 20%. Now both oils can shear out of grade, but the claim that 0W20 oils shear faster then 5W30, well, the data just says the opposite is actually true. While this claim is technically inaccurate, we do see an interesting difference in wear between 0W20 and 5W30 oils. When in grade, 0W20 provides slightly better wear protection than 5W30. Now, these differences are so small, they're not statistically significant. However, when 5W30 and 0W20 shear out of grade, everything changes. 5W30 sheared out of grade really isn't that different, slightly better than in grade. But 0W20, when it shears out of grade and gets even thinner, too thin wear increases. So it's really not about the viscosity grade, it's about whether or not that 0W20 stays in grade. Put another way, 0W20 can provide equivalent protection to a 5W30 as long as it stays in grade. Claim number three, 5W30 oil produced 40% less wear than 0W20 in testing in identical engines. Well, like we said at the beginning of the video, if you're going to make this claim, show the evidence. Well, unfortunately, they didn't, one, show the data from the usual analysis samples, plus we don't know the mileage on those engines, or do we know what brand or spec of those oils were? Which is really a shame because 
that would have been great information to have because what we see at Speed Diagnostics is that not all brands stay in grade. The shear stability, the viscosity breakdown of different brands of oil <laughs> vary from brand to brand. Some brands tend to stay in grade, other brands tend to not stay in grade. And as we showed earlier, that's the key point. Zero W20, as long as it stays in grade, is capable of producing the same level of protection as a 5W30. That's what the data says from over 10,000 samples, real world data. But when the oil shears out of grade, it is now too thin, thinner than it was designed for, that's where the problems occur. And we see that fuel dilution, shear stability, both play into this situation. So you want to have an oil that stays in grade. This is why the split between the number before the W and after the W is so important. Essentially, the wider the split between the number before the W and after the W, the less shear stable the oil tends to be. So a 5W20 will be more shear stable than a 0W20. 5W30 is gonna be more shear stable than 5W50. 10W30 is gonna be more shear stable than 10W60. That wider that split of the multi-grade, the less shear stable the oil is. And we see it all the time. When oils shear out of grade, where tends to increase, which is why viscosity is important but it's not what the viscosity is on the label, it's what the viscosity is in your engine, which is why having used oil analysis data is so important. Unfortunately, this video just made claims about used oil analysis data, but never showed it. All they really showed was just images stolen from other videos. So unfortunately, while these videos sound compelling and there are some elements of truth to them, when you boil it down and get to the bottom line, they're not presenting facts, they're just presenting opinions, and those opinions are not correct. So higher viscosity oils can reduce wear in some cases, but in other cases, we don't see that higher viscosity oil actually reduces wear. We've even seen higher viscosity oil increase wear in some cases. So what's the viewer to do? Number one, start with the OEM recommendation. Follow what they say and then measure, do the oil analysis and see what the results say. If your oil is staying in grade and you're producing less than five parts per million per 1,000 miles on the wear metals, you're good. But if your oil is shearing out of grade and your wear metals are higher, then you can take that data and take action and go to a different brand oil or an oil that is a narrower split multi-grade if your operating environment and conditions allow for that. Like we said earlier, a 5W20 is going to be more shear stable than a 0W20. It's also important to understand that just going to a shorter oil change interval does not guarantee that the oil will stay in grade. Oils that tend to shear down, shear down quite quickly. You want to choose an oil that has good shear stability in order to maintain its viscosity grade in service. You also want to avoid the double whammy of an oil that shears out of grade easily along with high fuel dilution. When those injectors get dirty or you have a lot of idle time in cold weather, what you're going to have is higher fuel dilution which further compounds the problem and drives the viscosity grade lower. So the key takeaway from this video is trust data you can see and not claims you can't. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out one of these and we'll see you next time.